you want All this pimping you can't afford Perform like a punk but wanna win his reward Some suckers give you points but bitch you never scored If you ain't paying pimping then bitch you getting ignored Okay, I'm so sick of these Alright, now one of the best hoes that I ever had in my career Came to me one day with two big ass suitcases Like this It said, freeze I'm ready to go wherever you want to go And I'm ready to do whatever you want me to do Hey man, I tell you, it was one of the best hoes that I ever had. Now I've had other bitches choose in a similar type fashion with the same spirit, but that's just one of the best, you know, most vivid memories that I have of one of the best hoes that I ever had. You dig? And when she chose with that spirit, like I say all the time, the smallest gestures speak the loudest volumes about the character of an individual. And when she chose like that, I knew I was going to have a good hoe and I knew I was going to have a long run out this bitch. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. You did. We traveled a lot of places. We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of funds. We did a lot of what we wanted to do. And we was a blessing to all of our loved ones. You know, my family, her family, whenever they, you know, needed something or wanted something, we was able to look out. It was a beautiful situation, you dig? And like I said, I've had other similar situations with uh, young ladies in the game who chose with the same spirit. But the bottom line, the best hoes in the game have a tendency to choose with the spirit of surrender. And it's a lot of strength involved in that, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. Now, some of the worst hoes that a pimp that ever had in the game was bitches who was like, now, mind you, I usually don't get very far with these bitches. Even if, if we get anywhere, if we move one step forward, it ain't going to be too many steps beyond that. But a lot of times we don't even take one step forward. But some of the worst hoes that I've ever encountered came to me like, Freeze, I've been watching you for a while and I like the way you talk. I just like your whole presentation. But I know you really don't like girls that only play the internet and that's the only thing that I want to do and I don't feel comfortable doing anything else but I can really get money and I can really do this and do that or freeze I've been watching you and I really like you and I want to fuck with you but I only fuck with the strip club and from what I from what it looks like you don't really like girls who do only the club and that's the only thing I feel comfortable doing but I really want to fuck with you See, when you come like that, that's the opposite of the spirit of surrender. See, the whole point in a hoe choosing a pimp is for leadership and guidance. And in order to properly allow somebody to lead you and guide you, you have to trust that individual. And when you trust that individual the way that you're supposed to, you're going to surrender yourself to that individual, trusting that they're going to lead and guide you in the right way and... With that spirit of surrender, like I say, it's going to be along the lines of I'm willing to go wherever you want me to go and do whatever you want me to do. Simple as that. See, when, when a bitch come in to a situation with a pimp and she's already telling the pimp what she don't want to do and, you know, what she's not going to do and all this type of shit. At that point, you letting it be known that you don't want no pimping. Because if you want to choose an individual and you coming into the situation telling him what you what you want to do and what you ain't going to do and all this type of shit, it's not pimping anymore that you looking to choose. You want a boyfriend who's going to make you feel good in whatever way that may may be. And, you know, for his for his time and his making you feel good. In return, you're going to make him feel like a pimp by giving him whatever money you make. Or, you know, a lot of cats be doing percentages and shit like that. Some bitches be going for that. But whatever the case, you know, uh, it's no surrender. And if it ain't no surrender, it ain't no hoeing. And like I was saying just a second ago, with that spirit of surrender, it involves a lot of trust. And see, a lot of bitches don't trust they set themselves. And when you don't trust yourself... You don't have the confidence to, to try new things or endeavor to be great 
in another lane besides the lane that you're comfortable and familiar with. And what you don't, what a lot of young ladies in the game don't understand, in order to be great, in order to be legendary, which if you in the game, you should want to be a great legendary hoe by the time you're done with this game. In order to do that, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. And when you step out of your comfort zone, it's going to be uncomfortable. But with growth comes discomfort. You know, when you're growing, you're not always going to be comfortable. Most of the time, you're not going to be comfortable when you're growing. But when you're growing, that's good. That means you're becoming better and greater at whatever it is that you're doing and whoever it is that you are. You can't be afraid of growth. If you're afraid of growth, then you don't want no pimping. And if you can't trust yourself, then you definitely can't trust no pimping. And you're going to go wrong with whoever that you choose because it's always going to be a guy that's going to go for that. That's going to be like, okay, bitch, you know, it's cool. You know what I mean? I can understand that that's all you want to do and you don't want to do nothing else. I could work with that. You always going to have cats in the game to go for that. And you might get a, have a little success and happiness with individuals like that, but you never going to know what your full potential is until you choose some pimping with the spirit of surrender. Let that marinate on your mind one time. Food for thought. Freeze is it. I holla. And as always, hey man, put some of this love shit in your body. It's going to love you whether or not you love it. You see me, I'm going to put a little ice with mine, man. I've been down in it. Pimp been over here down in this shit. Uh, uh, uh. Bitch, you always, bitch, you always on my line with pong game. Line with you game. ain't never, you ain't never got a dime to got a dime to get a liquor store, the D boy and designer the glory. Then you hit my line and all I ever get is the story. But you know that, but you know that I'm some pimp.